evening everyone and welcome back to my channel. I thought today I would do something that I don't do very often and that's go shopping. <laughs> thought we could go shopping together. Now I'm not actually lying when I say I don't get to do this very often. I know lots of you are thinking I am but I'm not. What I'm talking about is going shopping for myself and not my children. For myself and not the little ones. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to just nip to probably just Matalan because I could go to Primark but the one that's closest to me is very small. There is a Matalan close by me though and I haven't been there in ages. I'm going to try and resist the urge. Let's be honest, I'm probably going to look at the children's but I am going to try and resist the urge to buy children's and just actually shop for myself today. I need some new summery clothes that I can breastfeed in. What's it? Yes. Yes. New clothes for you. I need some summer clothes that I can breastfeed in and that are just new and fresh and nice and make me feel good, which is very, very hard to come by. Uh, my weight at the minute is probably the biggest, the heaviest, biggest. I am probably the biggest and the heaviest I've ever been. So I do struggle as, as much as I try and be body confident and as much as I do love my body for what it's given me, it, I would be lying if I didn't say I had days where I just felt like probably a lot of other men and women watching this and that's just a bit, a bit meh with the way I am, which is why I'm on a bit of a health, bit of a health kick at the minute. I'm trying to make better choices but obviously no fix is a miracle fix. I did do a big big vast extreme diet just after I had Isla and I dropped like three dress sizes in the space of three weeks in space of a month sorry and that was not a good way to do it. It, it wasn't good um, so I don't want to do that this time so there's no quick fix. I'm doing it the best way I can which is just eating less, eating more of the right things, less of the bad things um, and it will obviously come off gradually. I am almost 40, <laughs> 38 now, so I'm not thinking it's gonna come off as quickly as when I was younger. But yeah, I'm currently like a size 16 and I struggle to find clothes that I feel good in. I struggle most days when I go to my wardrobe, I feel fed up. So let's go shopping today. I'll either come away from this feeling good or even worse than what I did when I set out. I am a bit nervous, but um, Let's go. Let's get ourselves ourselves Someday to Matalan. Someday with Sarah, won't we? Someday with Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get ourselves to Matalan and see if we can find anything. Guys, you know what's really, really pathetic? Is the fact that I've just come into Matalan telling myself I'm not shopping for the kids, I'm shopping for myself. I'm not shopping for the kids, I'm shopping for myself. And as I'm saying that, my eyes are bypassing all the ladies and I'm looking straight over at the kids. <laughs> I hate shopping for myself. I literally love shopping so much and I hate shopping for myself. Everything I look at, I'm like, nope, that won't look right at me. Nope, 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 that's not gonna look good at me. I need to find some things. I need to shop. I need some things for summer. I might just throw it out there and just try things that are completely out of my comfort zone just to see what they look like. Actually, sometimes when you do that, you end up finding something that you really like. These are good for summer, for plus size ladies like myself. I might actually get one of these. They're just really comfy and I like, um, they're really cool obviously because they're strapless. These used to be about four pound, ten pound. Honestly, I used to get these years ago when me and Chris used to go on holiday together. And like our first ever holiday we went on with no children to Fiat Ventura. I got loads of these because they were like four pound. They've just crept up every year and now they're £10. Still cute though. I absolutely love these. This is another thing that I'm like, I wish. It's stupid me saying I wish I had the figure because you don't have to have a certain type of body to wear one of these. I've got hiccups, so I apologise. This is going to look nice on anyone, but I just don't feel like I fit into the anyone category. <laughs> but they are nice. I really like this beach cover up as well. That is so pretty. Why do I kind of like this? It's just like a really thin shirt, but kind of what you'd just wear open over your swimwear. I really like that. I'm not sure what size I'd get, large or extra large. I can't remember how they convert in Matalan, but if I remember rightly, Matalan comes up kind of small. 
Let's have a look at the large. Oh no. I'm gonna go for the large. That looks like it'll fit. Right, we've just come to the changing rooms. So weird because I don't really feel intimidated vlogging anywhere other than changing rooms. I always feel so awkward vlogging in changing rooms because everyone's probably thinking, what on earth is that woman next door to me doing? Who is she talking to? And I always find it really embarrassing. Anyway, we're at the changing rooms. Let's try on some clothes. Um, casual o one up first. So I got these shorts that I got in a size 16 and they're actually really well fit. They're actually super stretchy, so they're really comfortable. And then this oversized t-shirt that I got in an extra large. I got it in an extra large because I wanted it to be baggy and that it is. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that. I feel so awkward. What do you guys think? Just a casuelo denim shorts and t-shirt combo. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is outfit number one. Let me know what you guys think. Literally. Number two, I thought I'd pick this up in a large, but this is actually an extra large. Um, so it's really, really baggy. <laughs> I don't know if I should probably change it for the large, but I do like them big. Um, so it's kind of nice, excuse my bra. But um, no, actually this is too big. I do not like how it's like pumping up there. I do like the colour and it would be super cool for holiday. So this was one of those try it, it might surprise you dresses. Unfortunately they only had it in a size 18, what I thought I might get away with, but it's definitely too big. Um, but it did still surprise me. I kind of like this. I know it's kind of like... I don't know, some people might think this is older, <laughs> but I kind of like it and I think it's really nice shape, it's really comfortable and it would be perfect for holiday. I like that it's strapless, however, it's definitely too big. Like, it would not, this would not stay up on me. It's for somebody with boobs this big, not this big. But um, I still kind of like this dress, it's nice and summery, I like the print. I actually think it's quite flattering as well, but it's too big. I don't know what's going on with the sizes here guys, <laughs> this is an extra large and it is humongous, like if I try, try and show you my back, which I can't, so I've just pulled the excess around the front and this is where we're at guys, <laughs> it's flipping huge, I don't know what size I think I am but this is not the one. Okay this is the large and I definitely say this one fits much much better, it does look a bit weird because all my bra is now bunched up here because I don't like taking my bra off <laughs> to try and close but um yeah so it does look a bit weird but I kind of like this it's just cool and casual I like the um the like the print of it the pattern on the clothing and I think this would be nice for holiday this is like the first thing I've seen that I actually quite like okay this is another dress that is way out of my comfort zone something I would never ever usually pick up but I thought this looks kind of nice for just like beach walks so I'm gonna try it on okay this would be a no why why does this just look like an absolute black white bag on me and also this shoulder part here seems to fit nice this one here is like if you can see that it's like bagging I'm not sure why um this might be cute with like a belt to give it some shape i'm not sure um i'm not sure <laughs> i don't think this is the one for me guys maybe if it had a belt to, to give it a bit of shape on my waist it might be better hmm no i don't think so now, I can't decide with this. It kind of feels a little short in the body part here. If I pull it down, that, that just sits on my belly. And if I pull it up, I kind of feel like, I don't know, does this look like pajamas? I kind of feel like it looks a bit like pajamas. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure I can make this work. Oh my gosh, this is just not going well, guys. It's kind of cute. Is it navy blue? It's navy blue spots on white. But I kind of feel like it's too short in the body. But is it? 
and does it look like pajamas sorry guys the bras out again um i do like these and they are really comfortable but i just feel like they don't suit my figure whatsoever i feel like they just make me look like a flump <laughs> i just like look, look what is going on there i feel like they just make me look like a flump but they are really comfortable and i know every time we go on holiday i always like take at least one of these and then when we're actually there on holiday i'm always saying i wish i brought more because i don't know why but it always feels worse when you're trying clothes on at home or in shops than what it does when you're actually on holiday and you don't really care that much you're just lounging on the pool you're walking to the beach you're walking around some shops you're walking along the harbor everyone's dressed the same everyone's different shapes and sizes and you just don't i just oh maybe that's just a me thing I just don't feel like I care as much anymore. It's always so much worse in my own head when I'm here in the changing rooms trying them on. And I was like, nope. And I scrutinize every single inch of myself. So I don't have to get some of these because I know I will like them when we're on holiday. I've tried the pink one on. Which ones have I tried? I liked the navy blue. I didn't like the white, it was too big. Did I like the pink? I can't remember if I liked the pink. Did I try the pink? Yeah, I tried the pink. And I've got a plain black one to try as well as well as this spotty one. Don't ask me why I keep going like this. It's annoying as heck. But yeah, this, this little try on is just not really going great, is it? Um, I'm gonna try this on. I've actually brought a swimming costume in the changing rooms to try on with it. I do have a black costume already at home, similar. But I'm, I brought one in just so I could try it on with this. And this is the plain black one. I'll probably go for it, to be honest. I do like these when we're on holiday. They're easy and nice to just put on. Like I've just said, I'll probably go for this black one. I'm gonna go for the navy blue one as well. And I don't have to go for that spotty one. I don't have to go for the pink one. What do you guys think? <laughs> Does anyone else feel this dilemma? As, um, I am hating this. I am hating it. I want to go home. I want to have a paddy. I'm, I hate it. I hate shopping for myself. Like no part of me right now is feeling good or happy. None. It's so ridiculous, but can you do okay this I actually quite like um this little shirt is so so nice and I actually really quite like the um the swimming costume <laughs> swimming costume that I've got on underneath as well this I can get on board with um yeah what do you guys think would you wear something like this on holiday I actually really like this really comfortable really nice what size did i get this in a large um and it did come in a few different colors as well so maybe i could get a couple of these it came in white and i think a blue white would look nice with like a navy color swimming costume underneath or is it a bit like a dressing gown <laughs> no i think i like this i think this is nice i'm just playing around with it um but you can even like tie it up and wear it with shorts and a vest. I like this, like, I like this one. Yay! <laughs> so many shorts in. I don't know why, but I just hate shopping for shorts myself. I know I'm moaning this whole vlog about how much I hate shopping, but shorts stress me out. Maybe these ones are kind of cute. I kind of like these ones with the stretchy top. Um, I just feel like they'd be a lot comfortable, a lot more comfortable. They've actually got them in loads of different colours as well. And they're only £12.50, so that's really good. Black ones, stripy ones, denim ones, beige ones down there at the end, some yellow ones. I kind of like those. I bet they're really giving as well. Shorts like this are not for me. I wish they were. <laughs> they're so pretty. But, yeah, they're just not the best flattering and I find them really restrictive. So I just got back from the shops and I have to say, I can't lie, I may well have bought. So I just got back from the shops and I cannot lie, I may or may not have got Mila those shoes, Jace a new swim set and Isla a swim set and that top. <laughs> I was definitely not spending on the kids today but I definitely... I'm just gonna sit here and justify for five minutes why I bought them. So instead, I just did. I'm not gonna bother and I just did. And I can't pretend that that five minutes I spent just quickly looking around the children's section was not the best part of that shopping trip. <laughs> because the rest, 
Anyway, I bought, I got three of the jumpsuits that I saw, the like shorts ones. I got this one in plain black. I got this spotty one as well. I kind of thought it was cute. So I got the spotty one. And then I also got this navy blue one as well. They're kind of cute, they're nothing special. But it'll definitely keep me nice and cool on holiday. And I also bought the shirt, which I have just paired with a swimming costume that is my own. I really like this, super cute. And just whilst I were up there, I had a quick look in my wardrobe. I don't actually have my summer clothes from last year in my wardrobe because I always take them out and put them in storage, ready for the next season. Um, but I did find these two in my wardrobe still, but these are both really nice as well for summer. So the first thing is, let's see if I can put you down a bit, is this really sweet, it's, I mean, it's nothing special again, it's just a poolside dress slash wrap. And as you can see, it's actually got a button here so that it's not as revealing, but as you can see, it's quite big on me. Um, but this will be still nice to just go down to the pool in, etc. and I can really easily feed Aurora in this as well. Excuse me, just a chatting in my swimming costume. But I also found this dress that I don't know if it's gonna fit me. It looks like I've never even worn it before, but I think it's actually from Matalan because it says 30 pound reduced to 15. It is only a size 14, so I'm not sure if it will be a bit tight, but I'm gonna try it on and see what we think. No, this might actually be my favorite thing I've tried on today. And I bought this, I bought this last year and have obviously never worn it. Still got the tags on it, but it's so nice. It's such a nice fit. Let me see if I can put you a bit lower so you can actually see. It's a long dress. How pretty. It feels so nice. I really like this one. Maybe a belt. No, actually there's too much going on already. This is so pretty. I do hope you all enjoyed coming shopping with me today. Comment down below and let me know if you enjoy shopping for yourself or if you prefer to shop for your children like me. I'm terrible for it. I love shopping for my children. It's like, you know, I absolutely love it. And I think the reason that I do a lot of my shopping online is because then I don't have the, I don't have to torment myself in the changing rooms and look at every single flaw that I think I have, which I know is stupid because I'm all about body, co body positivity and I don't need to see, you know, 50 messages down below saying, you look amazing or you, you know, you look great. I don't need that. I already get that a lot from my family. I am very, very lucky, but yeah, sometimes it's just, I don't know, you just, you just go, for me, I can be body confident as long as I'm not in a changing room trying on clothes. <laughs> that's basically it for me. And I feel like that's why I tend to steer doing online orders because then I've ordered it, I've got it, it's there. And when I try it on at home, I don't know, it just feels different to being flustered. I always get flustered in changing rooms. I always feel awkward. I always get too hot. And I generally just don't like shopping for myself. I just, I just don't like it. But I'm glad I went today. I'm glad I made this video and it like kind of pushed me to go and do something that wasn't just shopping for the kids. And I did get a few nice things today. I am really happy with those little play suits. I know they're nothing special, but they are, in my opinion, essentials. When you go on holiday, you just need things like that that are easy to throw on, not too restrictive, very forgiving. <laughs> and they're nice and cool so they're perfect for me and i'm very happy with this little dress i've got on as well and obviously the cover-up so today was a successful day thank you all so so much for watching let me know in the comments down below what your type of shopping is and if you liked any of the things that i tried on today or if you know anything that would suit my body shape it's kind of hard i don't know if i showed my body shape well i kind of did because you saw everything i wore i'm kind of just heavy top I'd say I, I feel like I'm heavy like I around my arms like my insecurities in my arms um I don't actually mind my stomach at all it's so weird because I actually do still look a bit pregnant <laughs> I'm not gonna lie but I don't mind that I don't mind the stretch marks I don't mind the overhang from having babies I don't mind the like 
extra fat that I've got that I don't mind it. Like I kind of, I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I don't mind my butt on my legs. It's just the top part for me, like my arms. And I feel like that's the worst part because that's what I'm showing to everyone every single day that I'm vlogging. And especially now that my hair's gone because I kind of can't cover it, which is what I tended to do before. Like I wouldn't bother about the bra straps because my hair would cover it, etc. But um, I don't know, I've just gone off for a rant again. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> and make sure you come back next Monday for more Sarah Says. And I'll see you then. Good night, guys. Mwah.